Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham for Crave, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. Uh... Just wanted to put a friendly reminder out there that you can see the Lexus hoverboard in action August 5th, according to a short video posted on Tuesday by the luxury car manufacturer. Lexus released a 19 second video showing off a little more footage of their breakthrough hoverboard, along with a short video featuring professional skateboarder Ross McGurin, who is also credited in the video as a hoverboard test rider. Just make sure you put a reminder in your phone August 5th. Siri, remind me August 5th about the Lexus hoverboard coming out. Okay, I'll remind you. Ever wonder, how do they launch a nuclear weapon? Well, physicist Derek Mueller was able to get a walkthrough of the process for his educational YouTube channel, Veritasium. I probably said that name wrong. Mueller was invited to tour the Titan missile silo in Arizona, which at one time housed a nine megaton thermonuclear warhead, which was 650 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The video is frightening. Two, one, turn keys. And hold. Green light turns on, says launch, enable. For all intents and purposes, that should say, welcome to World War III. It'll slide through a security radar beam and set off the alarm. From engine start, we'll build up thrust, pop the hold down bolts, and off you go into the wild blue yard. NASA has released a copy of their golden record on SoundCloud, which contains all the sounds they sent into space, along with the twin Voyager 1 and 2 missions in 1977. The sounds were recorded onto a 12-inch phonograph disc made from copper plated in gold. NASA released the entire recording this week, which includes everyday sounds we hear here on Earth, like a dog barking, crickets and frogs, a train, and of course, a mother kissing her child. You can listen to the entire album at soundcloud.com slash NASA. Now you can take a Google Street View style tour of the International Space Station. The European Space Agency posted a bunch of high-res photos from inside the International Space Station that have been stitched together seamlessly in a way so that users could move around within the modules. You were able to zoom in, spin around, move forward, and navigate around the ISS using a map on the right-hand side. If you're using full screen mode, you can get a good glimpse at what life might be like aboard the ISS. ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti took tons of photos during her 199 days aboard the orbiting laboratory, and thanks to her efforts, we can now view what the space station was like during June of 2015 when she took most of the photos. There she is. The virtual tour was improved with the help of Thomas Rauscher of Vienna, Austria, who carefully stitched the images together for some of the modules. Alright guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave. And check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is a Chant BT portable Bluetooth speaker from House of Marley. Go to the blog and enter to win.